What's up guys, James here. This is episode one of my FTB season two. I chose to use the FTB Infinity mod pack instead of the fire pack. I tested them both out, but this is actually take two of episode one because I've already, I just finished recording it and checked back through everything. It turns out that the audio source for my microphone had been swapped to my headset for some reason, so I've recreated that and this is like episode two. So what I've done so far is collected a bunch of uh, my ores and I smelt them down, grinding them up with a grindstone, built a few tinkers things and we're basically in this like magical forest biome. That's about all I've done so far. Uh, what I plan to do is work towards what's um, what are like different bees, like pyro bees which need Dante and so forth, carbon which requires a spiteful or stantum spiteful requires infernal and hateful infernal requires huh. oh yeah of course infernal you find in the nether duh that's stupid Dante Smouldering which requires Skulking and Hateful Skulking which requires Modest and Eldritch Eldritch which requires Attuned and Cultivated Mystical and Cultivated or Unusual Cultivated or Sorcerer's Cultivated uh, Mystical is basically just one you find in the world but yeah basically it's just going to be a bunch of bee breeding which is kind of boring but that's what I'll be doing I'll be working towards like the uh, pyro bee hang on let me show you one uh, use is because it gives us when I go for this there's um, pyrofume dust blaze powder these two aren't too much of a problem, but it's mostly pyrofume dust I want because to make it you need sulfur, coal dust, redstone, and blaze powders. But if you re and these have to live in the never in order to work, I mean, you can just go and get blaze rods and things from things. But if you can get pyrofume dust directly, what's the point of going through all the crafting recipes required? So I want to work towards pirate bees. Emerald bees, which basically just give off uh, where is it? Emerald combs, which uh, you put in a centrifuge and you get what's called emerald fragments, which for nine of them makes up an emerald every time. Uh, I also want to get what's it called? Diamond. Where's the bee? Diamond bee. Which basically, uh, does it do the same as the emerald bee? Yeah, diamond comb, which will give off the diamond shards, which when you've got nine of them, makes up a diamond. I mean, uh, obviously you can get like lapis bees, uh, redstone. Is there a bee for that one? No. Oh, shame. <sighs> Magic bees. Uh, forest. See if we can find the bees section of forestry. Don't need to borrow butterflies. There's like lime, succulent, and stuff that's added in pink, red. Uh, what else is there? So much stuff on this page. Uh, Noring, Arid. You can even get some that are for, like, I think it's for, like, Ardite and things. It's all sorts of ones. Glowing. 
That produces glowing combs. What are they used for? Ah, you can make glowstone out of them. And in order to get glowing, um, what am I going to need? Furious and excited. To make it furious, what do I need? Emberate and sinister. To make an emberate. I must have to find that out in the world somewhere. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's basically so far what I plan to do. I plan to go through different bees and pick up different ones that will give me different things. Uh, is there any others perhaps that might be interesting? What's ethereal bees used for? Do they give off anything? Otherworldly combs. Oh, let's see what otherworldly combs do. Magic wax. No, they don't really do much else. Hmm. Yeah, because you've got like a diamond die, which is the diamond bees. Oh, diamond die gives off diamond shards. Okay. What are they used for? Diamonds again. That's interesting. I need an Austri and Auric. Okay. Blizzy, which will give Blizz powder, I'm guessing. Yeah, Blizz powder. Gel lid. But that gives off jelly cryorophium. E. Cryorophium dust, yes. Poultry, I bet, gives off chicken. Yeah, chicken nuggets. Yeah, there's all sorts like nickel, invar, bronzed. Which obviously gives off bronze nuggets, Tinker's alloy nuggets, which is kind of cool. They all have different things that you can work towards to get different bits and pieces, but what I'll basically be doing is just working to get some gender story machines. Basically, industrial APO, which needs glass, bronze gears, soda casing, which is just bronze. Uh, B receptacle, which is more bronze, glass, gold, and a piston, which is basically iron, wood, cobblestone, and redstone. Uh, there's the where's the mutatron? Mutagen, mutatron, which is another sturdy case in B receptacle, power modules, mutant tank, which is just glass and tin. Uh, it's this genetic thing that's going to be a pain because you need two diamonds, two nerve quartz, pulsating chips, uh, which is made by an ender pearl and a redstone. Ender pearls can only be got by the shards you can get from the ender zoo mobs. Ender dust, which is just an ender pearl crushed up. Uh, I think. Uh, it doesn't say. And then there's the like ender pearl dust. Yeah. Well, I think I'll um, stop here for now. Basically, that's what I've got planned. I'll work on some gender history stuff between this episode and next. Carry on mining, try and make a bunch of bronze. And might work on like a tinker smeltery and things. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed, give it a like and always subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.